What's up everybody, Dre back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Ready or Not because I just released a briefing update. This one is called Suspect Gameplay and it is once again brought to us by GTB79. I think that's Gwyn? Oh no, I guess it's someone different. I have no idea. But it was brought to us by one of the community management teams. So let's just go ahead and start it up. It starts off with saying, Attention officers, welcome to the 36th edition of our bi-weekly newsletter. In this briefing, we're going to dive into some AI improvements our team has made as well as explore future plans for Suspect suspect AI development, manipulated chaos. As of our most recent update, AI behavior will be altered depending on the player's interactions. Over the course of the game, AI stress will naturally decrease or increase depending on how aggressive your team is. AI in high stress will not hesitate to shoot you and be combative, while AI in low stress will not be as aggressive. Our goal is to show you how your team's actions impact the world and gameplay experience. As we progress, we hope the stress mechanic will create the opportunity for a wider range of dynamic situations to arise and they got a picture here that's probably going to be the thumbnail very nice looking thumbnail not gonna lie this is obviously a picture of the penthouse i don't see anything too different here but these guys kind of look a little scared but i mean i don't imagine veterans actually being scared of the police at this point especially if they've gone as far as to kidnap a senator and, and shoot up a couple of guys here so it's interesting nonetheless underneath this picture it says slow to raise the weapon wonder what else definitely going to be interesting to see how these ai react after this update but let's go ahead and move on here suspect gameplay our team is looking into improving AI movements through the world by using spine paths during navigation. By using the spline path, AI will be able to move more easily and smoothly around sharp edges and corners, although giving them a more natural and realistic characteristics. Through the addition of more complex animation transitions, turns will be determined by AI speed and trajectory in response to gunfire or stress. Future versions of AI could slip or stumble during transitions. Oh, that would be interesting. This new feature aims to make interactions with threats more entertaining and challenging in high speed situations. I just imagine that the AI is like running and he freaking slips on a pool of blood or something. That'd be kind of funny, but it would make sense because you know, when you're in like a high tense situation, you don't know what's going to happen, at least in my opinion. And they got a picture of what this is going to look like here. They also have a video of it, which I was showing just a second. But underneath this picture, it says, There's no Lombard Street in Los Suenos, but this will do. Lombard? The heck is that? No idea. Somebody want to fill me in in the comments? But I will show that video really quick here. Obviously, you have uh, one of the developers that's like doing the pathing with the AI. And he's supposed to like move around and stuff like this. So I'm assuming the red path and the green path are like, uh, maybe SWAT officers and also the bad guys. I'm not too sure. They didn't exactly explain that part. I don't think unless I missed it, but yeah, they are definite. Like this is what a normal human would do. He'd stick like about an inch or two away from a wall and just walk right that right around, you know? And try to avoid that. That's going to be a little tough right there for them to try to not hit. Um, but they would have like a movement where they'd like be stepping over it with like weird motions, right? That makes sense. That's actually pretty cool. And that's pretty much the end path that's right here. So is it like the green path is maybe like a walking and then the red is like a running maybe? That's probably what it is, but I'm not too sure. But anyways, there's been quite a bit of mini dev lies, which we'll get into, but we'll do that after we get done with the freaking newsletter here. So I'm moving on after that. Our top priority is improving the AI movement and consistency during gameplay. AI can currently burst into full speed without any buildup. We will be introducing methods to slow down encounters, allowing officers time to react. Slowing down initial movement will make interactions be more believable 
believable, but players should still proceed with caution, even if a threat doesn't appear to move as quickly as before. Hmm. And then we have a picture of, oh, maybe this will be the thumbnail. I don't know. There's two pictures, and I like them both. But we got a guy, I think this is actually the port map, if I'm not mistaken. But we got a guy with the freaking face mask on. I wonder if it's one of those Chinese ones, because I hear, or maybe it's just like a leather face mask. I don't know. Looks like a face mask. Looks like a cloth face mask. And we see one of the, actually, we see a couple of victims here. We got one on the ground there. We got chick right here. We got this guy that's just staring at this chick instead of actually, you know, hey, bet, hey, you know, Swat's over here. Trying to see if there's anything different about the guns, but they all kind of look similar to what we've seen before. But yeah, that's pretty much that. Underneath this picture, it says, think twice before you do whatever it is you're planning on doing. Hmm. For suspect AI gunplay, we're focusing on reworking reaction times and how they locate and engage with players. Instead of suspects simply blending between two poses, weapon up and down, specific states to raise a weapon, and then aim it will be introduced, minimizing issues related to readability during encounters. Our next major update will also include the ability to startle unaware suspects and civilians. Startles will fill the gap when suspects are deciding to flee, hesitate, surrender, or shoot. Lastly, we are working towards creating more variety and suspect profiles and abilities depending on their role in the world. These additions should build up to create a more realistic and improved gameplay experience. In conclusion, this concludes our 36 bi-weekly briefing discussing AI updates already integrated in Ready or Not, as well as revealing some exciting plans for gameplay against suspects. So that was pretty interesting. Uh, what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know down in the comments below, because we're going to move on to a bunch of these mini dev updates that have been coming out relatively soon that I just haven't covered. I'm just going to include them here okay so obviously we're going to start with the first one here which is the micro t2 i think that's what this picture is trying to show off right probably a new optic that's in production here i don't know if it came out or not we're going to go ahead and move on to the next thing which is suspects now see grenades hear them being thrown detonated and will take cover so as to not get stunned easily this was obviously posted by ali here let's take a look so he flips it on so you can see the suspect and then he sees the bang right there and he runs for cover so it's not going to be as simple as trying to, you know, do that anymore. And they'll freaking just stand there and take the grenade. No, they're going to try and hide now, which is going to get even more annoying. But hey, hopefully it's in a spot where they can still be affected. But that's just going to make the game a lot harder. Well, let's just move on to the next thing here. They're showing off an early version of the meth cook compared to its final version. And this one right here on the left kind of looks like a dude straight out of freaking the Stalker series, which is interesting. And I don't get why they have bags on their heads. I mean, I guess it's to help them, like, not take in the toxins, but aren't you, like, suffocating yourself when you put a bag on your head? Seems kind of dumb to me, but maybe it's just the thinking of a crackhead or, like, I don't know. It's interesting, though. And then we got a video of Ali actually turning off the music in club. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, not very tasteful. I think I kind of agree with uh, Zach on this one. I mean, why couldn't you make it so that, you know, we're able to like dance on the dance floor? But anyways, moving on to the next thing here. We already saw this one. I don't think I read the description. Some early work in progress pathing movements I've been working on for the AI, smoothing out and eliminating sharp edges, which results in smoother pathing traversal through the environment. It would make our pathing so ridged, robotic, rounding corners especially. So red is the raw default path and green is the smooth. Okay, so it's like a before and after, got you. So that's what that meant. But anyways, moving on to the next thing here. We can finally make our own presets. Oh my God, it took you so damn long. What the heck, it took you so goddamn long. Oh my God, nice to see this in the game finally. And then Zach ended up posting something in the mini devs here. So he says, we recently added a new tool to the sound designer belt, our door transitioner. Instead of rooms acting like switches for ambience, now we have everything flowing together much more fluidly. It doesn't only change sounds, however, it also taps into our reverbs and allows us to blend between different reverb types at will going from a hallway to a narrow room etc as well as having some line of sight trickery so certain sounds get louder if doors open here's a sample of how it can impact the club music for example there is much more gradual shift in how muffled 
it is when moving to the dance floor now and he has a personal shout out to a modded rare kiwi for the inspiration his modded map forest house uses his own version of this which was a push for us to make our own okay let's take a look So like the lights are like oh, okay that's kind of cool yeah it's like that transition that's pretty cool not gonna lie. And that pretty much does it for anything Ready or Not related in terms of news. So I'm gonna end it here. If you enjoyed the fact that I cover games like Ready or Not, then be sure to like the video, share the video, comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon or hop on that join button that's underneath the video. Send a thank you! If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on Ready or Not or any other game that I decide to cover. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye